All right, good to hear that. But the world's largest living thing calling Utah home. But scientists are saying that organism may be dying. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner joining us from Logan. And Kate, what is Pando first off and why is it dying? That organism is called Pando and it grows right here in the state of Utah. But researchers from Utah State University say it's in decline and the cause is human. This is an ordinary aspen tree in Logan. About 300 miles to the south, there is a forest that spans more than 100 acres and is made up of 40,000 aspen trees. But looks can be deceiving. Pando is a giant aspen clone, and a clone is a genetically identical set of trees because the trees are connected underground by their root system. Yes, this forest is basically one giant tree, and if you pulled it out of the ground, roots and all, it would weigh about 13 million pounds, but it's falling to pieces. The actions that we've taken over time uh, are actually causing this forest to diverge into sort of three different forests. Paul Rogers leads the research on Pando's health. He says hunting limits on deer, cattle grazing, and even fencing all create conditions that prevent new growth from sprouting. And it's just an amazing, uh, sweet experience. Um, it's a species worth working for. Etta Crowley recently spent a month measuring and mapping Pando's new growth. Pando is massive. It also is a pioneer species, so it sets up the environment um, from the start of a disturbance, and then um, it allows other species to grow uh, in the area, and uh, it supports a massive diversity of plants and animals. That's one reason scientists want to save it. Rogers says it's also a symbol of pride, but if it dies. You might say we'd have a little ecological egg on our face. So it's incumbent upon us as humans if we've caused some of this to help uh, develop the fix. Roger says aspen trees are incredibly common across North America, but if we can save this one specific forest here in Utah, it'll give us a better idea of how we can act and protect other forests across the continent. Reporting in Logan, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.